demonstrated for you was a basic salsa followed by a sombrero, followed by a cross body lead with an inside turn out of the sombrero, followed by a hip lead back to back, and then a, uh, another hip lead with a, with a turn into an inside turn, and then a basic, and then just a hit at the end. So again, just to re recap, this is what you saw. You saw a basic, two, three, five, six, seven inch sombrero. Here's the sombrero. Five, six, seven, here's the neck turn with the cross by lead. Here's facing back to back with a hip lead. Five, six, seven, here's the hip lead with a turn. Five, six, seven, here's the salsa. And then, then there's a hit right there. That is what we just saw. The first part what we did is just a basic and sombrero. Here we go. And so a basic in, in salsa is you step forward for one, two, Three, there's a little rest on four, and then you step backward for five, six, seven, there's a rest on eight. So you can count to eight and do this whole series. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You'll notice the men step forward on their left foot and the girls step backwards on their right to begin for one, two, three, and then forward rest. And then again, the men step back on their right and the girls step forward on their left for five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and that's the basic, and again, it looks like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that's your basic salsa. The next part that we did was where we kind of slipped down to right over left, um, which is fine. You can go to that at any time. This is open position. This is right over left. And what we did was we did the first part of the basic salsa, one, two, three. And I turned her for five, six, seven. She turned to her right. And at the end on five, six, seven, we kind of put our arms over our shoulders like this. And it looks, it's a little easier when you do it a little quicker. Five, six, seven, you just have to know where you're going. And a key point here, and Brittany can tell you this, is that for this to happen, you have to relax your arms while you're up here so that the, that the leader can slip them down like this. If she's fighting me and doesn't want to put her arms out there, it's very difficult to get them to here. All right, so again, this, this is what it looks like. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we're, we made it to sombrero. And that's how you do a basic to a sombrero. The next part of this chain, after we've gotten into sombrero, is we're going to do a cross by a lead. But while doing the cross by a lead, we're going to do a neck turn and then get her to face back to back. Okay? So what's going to happen? We've just made it to here, all right? And so the, um, the very, the tail end part of the sombrero is you break forward for one, two, three. All right, this is just as if you're doing a salsa basic, only you're doing it in this position, sombrero. So you break forward for one, two, three. Here's where the really tricky part comes, and that's the neck turn. So on five, six, seven, you drop, the leaders drop their left hand, and you retain your right hand on kind of the back of her neck, hence the neck turn. You pull her across for five, six, seven. That's it. And, and kind of guide her to face her, her back to you like this. All right? So let's show it again. This really does take some practice. So you kind of have to, after you got to the sombrero, here's the sombrero. And then you break forward for one, two, three. And then five, six, seven. And then we're back to back like this. And once you've gotten her back to back, as you pull her in a hip lead, Towards your other side, right behind you, for one, two, three, and then you do another, followed by another play, five, six, seven to get out of it. The last part was we've done the neck turn, and then you did a hip lead, pushing her to the side, and then a hip lead turning her. It's important to make that difference between those two segments. One is pushing side to side, the other is pulling on the hip and turning it around. So Ball has to make sure and be able to feel the difference between the two different types of pressure. One of them, there we go. Oops, stay back there. One of them being pulling across and then turning angular wise. So the last part is come back in the frame and do a basic. And then as you're doing the second part of the basic, this is where you set up for the hit. Hip, you have to pull um, your following close and then throw her out while keeping your own weight over your center like this. 
and then looking forward to smiling, of course. Thank you, and you've just learned some salsa.